Uh, welcome, welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this uh, clip, we're going to talk about uh, triangle congruency. And first of all, let's talk. About, uh, let's take a look a little bit to congruent figures. What you notice here, we have two uh, polygons that have the same size and the same shape. We call them congruent. And if you take a look to the congruency statement, which is right here. Uh, that will tell you the corresponding congruent parts, how I call them. Like, for example, angle A congruent to angle M, angle B congruent to angle uh, N. And you see, I'm looking just to this statement, I'm not looking to the picture. And uh, A's and M are on the first position, B on the second, and obviously now I go to angle C which is going to be congruent to the angle P, uh, angle D, which is going to be uh, congruent to angle R, and the last one, angle E, is going to be congruent to angle T. Uh, Similarly, we can write uh, statements about the sides, AB, congruent to MN, Uh, BC congruent with uh, NP and here was angle P uh, then um, CD congruent with uh, PR, DE, congruent of RT, and the last uh, statement AE, congruent of uh, MT. And those are the 10 corresponding congruent parts for these two polygons, these two pentagons. Now what's happening if we have a triangle like this one? The same type of uh, corresponding congruent parts. And here you can see them also on the triangle, but again, I will suggest you don't look to the picture. If you have a statement like this, look to the statement. Angle A congruent to angle M. Angle B congruent to angle N. And the last one, angle C congruent to angle P. And now we're going to write about the sides. AB congruent to MN. BC congruent to NP. And the last corresponding congruent part for these two triangles will be the side AC congruent to MP. And like I said, you don't really need this picture. So if we have two congruent triangles, obviously we have six corresponding congruent parts. The converse of that statement works. If two triangles have three pairs of congruent corresponding angles and three pairs of congruent corresponding sides, then the triangles are congruent. So this is the converse of the original statement. But however, we do not need to know that all six parts are congruent in order to prove that two triangles are congruent. We need to have only three corresponding congruent parts. Uh, and you're going to see the possible choice in the next slide. We have this choice, if we have side, 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 congruence postulate is called, okay? And you notice here, we have three corresponding congruent sides. This side is congruent to this one. This side is congruent to this one. And this one is congruent to this one. If we have three corresponding congruent sides, then the triangles are congruent. So in this case, triangle uh, ABC, congruent of triangle uh, D E 
E F. Okay, you need to be careful. You need to write the correct correct statement. Um, an, uh, another way to prove congruency is what we call side angle side theorem. And you can see it here what that means. We have these two uh, corresponding congruent sides. We have these two corresponding congruent sides, and we have the angled angle included between the sides that are congruent. Then we have these two triangles are congruent, and we can write the same statement like this one. Uh, a third way is what we call angle side angle again theorem and look at here to the picture how it looks like we have let me start with this one arc and one arc you see those two arc angles are congruent two arcs two arcs these two angles are congruent and the side is included so that's the reason we call angle side angle you notice s is between the A's, the side is included. Then the triangles are congruent. So in this case, we have uh, triangle uh, VBN congruent of triangle TMP. And again, you have to be careful how you write the statement. You have to have the corresponding parts in the uh, correct. And the last way to prove two triangles are congruent is what we call angle-angle side postulate. Um, theorem, I'm sorry. And uh, you see it right here. We have angle, angle, side. And we have the same thing here. Angle, angle, side. So this is the last way um, that you can use for proving that two triangles are congruent. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.